Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this kind of get ready with me skincare edition for Valentine's Day. With the holiday coming up this week, I thought it would be kind of fun to just do a whole skincare prep video. So this is can be used not just for Valentine's Day, but if you have a big event coming up or like your birthday, going out with the girls, just anything you want to do to prep your skin so it looks all nice and flawless for whatever event you have coming up. And also it's kind of fun because you're doing some self-care, very relaxing, kind of like a little spa day for yourself. Treat yourself, there it is. So if you're interested in seeing how I prep my skin for a big event slash my Valentine's date with Bay, then just keep on watching. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair back and I'm wearing this cute robe. Yes, I am wearing clothes under this. Fine. And then I'm gonna wear this cute little bear ears. I love this thing. It was like $5 at Ulta. It's like by I Do Care. And I love it just because it keeps all the hair and stuff out of my face. All right, now we're all ready and prepped. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually, well, let's give you a little zoom in just to see how my skin is doing first. Okay, so this is how my skin is doing. We got a lot of scarring going on. This friend, I've been breaking out quite a bit this week. Half my fault, half not, right here. And then if we can see this nasty nose, we got a lot of pores going on, a lot of blackheads and nastiness, and it's not cute. So yeah, those pores are not cute at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of those nasty blackheads is do some extracting. I've used this before. This is literally my favorite tool to get rid of like my little blackheads. The LaBelle Ultra Shirt. The ultrasonic skin spatula. I love skin spatulas, specifically this by LaBelle and Trophy Skin. And I'm just gonna use this to get all the nasty gunks out of my nose. I did a whole video on this, reviewing this and showing you how it kind of gets the gunk and everything out of my nose. I will link that up here if you are interested. So I'm first going to start off by just getting all the nastiness out of my nose. So I'm gonna wet my face and then we're gonna get on into it. All right, now my face is all wet and ready to go. I have a mirror here and I'm just going to proceed to get all the nastiness out of my nose. So I'm gonna turn this off. Also want to make it known and just very clear that my skin is cleansed. Um, I cleansed before this and all that. So we're working with clean skin here. So super important. <laughs> Okay, now we are all done with this. And yes, I went ahead and cleaned it. Don't come for me. So I'm just gonna put this away. Oh, I feel so much cleaner already. Let's zoom you in so you can take a little look-see. Look at how much cleaner we are. Oh, so much better. Oh, this is great. Now, so what I usually do after that, just to make sure all the nastiness is all there and before I put any masks on and just layer nastiness with clean things, I'm gonna go ahead and take my there's witch hazel and a little cotton ball and just kind of clean my whole face to get anything excess that was either left over or just kind of clean the pores where I did all these like little extractions just so it's all clean. And I always do this after I do that little skin spatula just because again, I just want to be as clean as possible. I was like, I'm debating if I should like do some little like hair removal. Have you guys seen that like laser hair removal tool? Like after this, I love this. This is my favorite thing ever, but I saw like a laser hair thing on Instagram. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like that little light thing. Uh, I wonder if it works. So if you guys have tried that, comment down below. I'm very intrigued to see if that works. Okay, now that everything is good and all dry, it is time to do a mask. So I love doing clay masks and things, especially after I just cleaned out all my pores, just to get out any other toxins, detox up by the skin and make sure we are all good. So I'm going to be taking this new mask I've got. This is gonna be like my second time trying it, but the first time I tried it, I really liked it. And it is Yoga Kitten by I Do Care. And she's what it looks like. And it is just a clay mask. And it's specifically for acne and acne prone skin, which I love because has acne prone skin so, so it's just this really pretty green mask and i'm just going to be taking well this is on my hands so i'm just going to be taking it and putting it all over my face don't mind this messy job for now i'm literally just taking excess from the cap because i want to clean it 
Does anyone else get like anxiety when your mask things get dirty? Like I do. I know what you're thinking. That's a very shoddy mask job, which it is, but don't worry, we're gonna smooth it out. So I'm gonna take this little I do care mask thing. It's like a smoother and I really love this. I also got this at Ulta and it was like $8. It was very affordable and I have loved it so far just because it's silicone. So it's like pretty hygienic, easy to clean. Like it just looks so much better. And I feel like it just distributes the product more evenly. Uh, and I just really have been enjoying this. I was like, I don't need this. I can just use my fingers and spread it evenly, but I won't go back now. Okay, now that we are all done applying our mask, I'm just gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Sometimes I go a little longer, maybe 15 or 20, just depending on how much detoxifying I feel like I need. But for now, I'm just gonna do 10, especially because getting ready for a Valentine's Day. It's gonna take me a while to get ready, so I don't need any more extra time to add to my routine, but it's already starting to harden, but it feels so cooling, it feels so good. So I'm going to let this sit and I will be right back. All right, so it is now time to take off this mask. It looks so scary because it's so hard and dry. So I'm just gonna take it off. I'm actually gonna use one of these makeup remover towels, but it's also really good to take off masks and I've been loving these. Also, you're saving money on the just reusable wipes. So it's always a good thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. You can see how nasty it is for makeup, but I'm just gonna use the other side that's all clean and yeah. All right, now that we are all clean, I'm gonna take just one more little cotton ball and I'm just going to wet it again. And this isn't really to like, for like cleansing purposes, it's just to get any excess of the mask off that maybe didn't come off on the towel. I did go wet my face real quick with a bit of water just to get anything out. Okay, I don't know how this next part is gonna really work out. I'm not sure, just logistics wise. I'm gonna go ahead and jade roll my face and put on some masks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an eye mask as well as a sheet mask. I guess let's go with the eye mask first. So I'm gonna take this Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Golden Eye Mask. And eye masks are always just really good. They feel good and it's just like, oh, success. And while I do that, so I'm just gonna take these out of the packaging and they're really pretty. They're like the golden eye masks. Interesting, so here they are. And let's see how this works, because I actually have never used these specific eye masks before. It's like coated in the serum, but I'm not exactly sure how to get them out. Okay, it says to apply on dry under eyes, so it's a good thing I'm doing this first before the sheet mask. It just feels so relaxed, so I'm just gonna take this one right here, pop that under my eyeball. Oh, whoa, 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 maybe too close. It may have been too close to my eyeball. Like actual eyeball. Oh yeah. Success. Now I'm just gonna take one of these jade rollers. It's actually like a rose quartz roller. And I had this in the freezer. Totally recommend to put this in the freezer because it just feels so good. And I'm gonna take the little end of it. So this little tiny end, and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it on my eyes and that's what it's meant for because the tiny side I actually never knew until I looked it up but yeah it's for the eyeballs and just so because it's so small and you have to be really delicate with the under eye area so let's go ahead and do this mask these eyes and when you jade roll you always want to roll away from your face so you get those that lymphatic drainage going on it just feels so good. And when you do it over eye masks and sheet masks like this, it's supposed to really get the product in there. So much better. Oh, this feels so good. The mixture of the under eye, it feels really good. The sheets itself are very cooling and then combined with the jade roller, oh, it just feels so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I will be right back and then we'll move on to the sheet mask. Also, while I leave this on, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my crusty lips because we're really crusty. And if you're going out tonight, if you're going out with Bay for Valentine's Day, then you don't wanna have crusty lips if you're gonna be kissing people. So I'm gonna go ahead and take like Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I love this thing. It literally feels so good. All right, so the time has come to take these off. <sighs> my under eyes feel like so good and hydrated. I'm just gonna go ahead and put any of the excess serum 
into my skin. Okay, so now for the final step, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Pure Leaf Blue Lotus and White Tea Mask, and it's supposed to be very intensely moisturized, so if you're going out on that date night, my skin has been super, super dry and crusty, so we need some intense hydration, especially after that nice clay mask, and our eyes are all hydrated. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I already opened it, and then let's go ahead and put this on. And I love Pure Lease. It's like one of my favorite like sheet masks. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this, I look so scary and I look like I'm like, ah! Okay, I'm gonna let this go ahead and stay on for about 15 minutes and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm so hungry. It has been at least 10 to 15 minutes, so now we're going to take this mask off. Okay, now I'm just going to rub in the excess with my hands, the excess serum so we can really work it into the skin. My face feels so hydrated. Okay, perfect. So now for the final step, so I'm just going to take this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Cream and I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyeballs. And it is said that your third finger, so your ring finger actually applies the least amount of pressure, which is good if you're gonna be working with the delicate eye area. <laughs> This is such a good eye cream. It's so hydrating. So even though we have all this moisture, we want to lock it and seal it because when we put on our concealer and put on all our makeup later, we want to make sure it lays perfectly. And that way we don't get dry crustiness and minimize creasing as much as possible. <laughs> okay, and for the final step, I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer. So I'm gonna take one of my favorites. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Peptide Cream. And I love this because since our skin is already really hydrated, this is a really nice gel formula. So it is going to be perfect and not too heavy for the skin and going to just, again, help seal in all this moisture that we have going on. All right guys, and that is it for this skin prep video for Valentine's Day or any big event that you have coming up. I love how glowy my skin is. My skin just feels super hydrated. I feel clean and it's just such a good time to do skincare, especially when you have the time to do it. Your skin is gonna look so hydrated and moisturized and your makeup is gonna lay perfectly on top of this so you will look snatched for whatever event you are going to. And also, if you're not even going to an event and you just wanna use this as like a self-care day, self-care Sunday, or on the weekend or anytime you have time it's also nice to treat yourself and just like relax and bask in the moisture and hydration and just take care of your skin so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys have any valentine's day plans are you going out with the girls for galentine's day are you going out with your bae anywhere or are you going to use this for a big event i would love to know make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one bye guys